Hello everyone. The long-awaited episode 42 has finally come out and oh my god, what can I even say about it? In my opinion, this was one of the best action-filled episodes that Monster Up has done so far. And I was just blown away by how freaking epic it was. And not only did we finally see the real speaker woman who is alive after all, but also the grand comeback of Titan Cameraman and oh my, I definitely have so much to say about it. Okay, and now I am going to break the whole episode down for you and tell you about all the secrets and Easter eggs that you could have missed on your own. So if you're really ready, then put all your business aside for the next 13 minutes and trust me. What is happening with Plunger Man who is still connected to the Plague Doctor? And what should we expect in the next episode? What is up with the color of Titan Cameraman's core this time? And does it mean anything suspicious? And most importantly, are speakermen actually safe, or the biggest danger is just about to start? If you want to know the answers to all these questions, then get your tea and snacks ready and prepare to watch this video to the end, because it's going to be fire! Let's go! But before I'll start digging into episode 42, let me remind you real quick about the events of the previous episode so you won't get too confused about what has actually been going on. So in episode 41 of Zombie Skibidi Toilet Universe, Dave, who is also known as the Plague Doctor, can be seen infecting a speakerman with a virus that appears to steal his soul while condemning him to join Dave's infected army of zombies. And by the way, I must also mention how I didn't say in my actual analysis of that episode about the reference to SCP-049, because it is well known that Dave actually came here from that universe, and his mind must have been damaged by all the events that he saw in SCP-049. So he was infecting the Hethi speakermen, because he really considered them sick by his own standard, as he thinks that they are already infected with another disease. And that disease that he thinks all the inhabitants of Zombie Universe have is actually called Pestilence in SCP Universe. So he really considers himself their savior or healer as he destroys them by his touch, or turns them into literal monsters. He thinks that it's still saving them overall, which is insane. So thanks to my subscribers that pointed this detail to me. Okay. But Dave's interactions with speaker men can also display his immense power and disregard for their life, as he infects another speakerman and dismissively throws him aside after the infection. The infected speakerman now belong to Dave's army, while his soul is now trapped in this agonizing existence. Meanwhile, a battle between Titan Siren and Red Titan Drill Man unfolds. Titan Siren struggles against Red Titan Drill Man a lot, because the immunity of Red Titan to the virus makes him a formidable foe. So in the end, Red Titan Drill Man ultimately defeats Titan Siren in a very brutal showdown, literally tearing him apart and claiming his Genesis Core as a trophy, which is required by the Plague Doctor. And this defeat almost demoralizes the remaining speaker men, who witness the destruction of their powerful ally in real time. So Episode 41 ends with Dave's army of zombies attacking the Speakerman's base in a huge swarm, while the Plague Doctor is expressing his deep hatred for the Speakerman's race as a whole. Okay, so now when your memory is refreshed and you're all set and ready, Episode 42 is already on your screens. But before I'll dive into actual analysis, let me remind you to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content I'm making because I really appreciate your support. Okay, so if you are subscribed now, let's get back to the episode. Okay, let's go. Okay, so it starts with the Plague Doctor sending the horde of his zombies at the Speakerman's base. And we know that prior to that, Red Titan, Drillman really tried to lower their battle morale by tearing Titan Siren apart right in front of their eyes. But it seems to me that Dave underappreciated his opponents after all, because Speakerman are actually pretty far from giving up. They are standing in certain rows. And after zombies broke out, Speakerman open fire and start blasting the freaks with the hail of bullets from their guns. But zombies seem to be pretty tough opponents too or probably the Plague Doctor also strengthened his initial formula. So right now, they are not that easy to put down. And some of the zombies manage to go through this hail of bullets and attack those who shoot them. So even though speaker men are still hella tough, their rows started breaking and zombies enter the innards of their base eventually. Then we are getting shown Plungerman who is sitting still together with our Scabaldi bro and waiting for a sign to go off and take part in a fight as well. And in this moment, he starts feeling really dizzy and unwell once again as it already happened a few episodes ago. And in case you guys forgot, he has a link between him and Dave who is also Plungerman in the Plague Doctor's body. And as Plungerman was injected a disgusting liquid in his arm, this connection between them became really dangerous as Plungerman started seeing Dave in his head. 
And if you remember the secret scene where it was told to us how exactly Skibidi Scientist was turned into zombie, then you realize how dangerous Dave's manipulations with his enemies' minds are, and how terrible good he is in sending his hallucinations to his opponents. And although the night prevented the injection from fully happening in episode 31, Plungerman was still affected by it in the end. And now we see that these hallucinations still didn't go away but became even stronger, which is not a good sign at all. But the interesting thing is that we weren't shown the exact content of Plungerman's hallucinations this time, and we only saw how his camera obviously glitched. And even Scabaldi noticed that and exclaimed, Skibidi, when it happened. And after that, Scabaldi raised one of his mechanic parts as if he wanted to check is everything all right with his friend. But Plungerman just gets up and walks away from him in a really cold manner. And guys, I don't intend to scare you just like that or anything, but this scene was actually suspicious as hell. Because if it was a regular hallucination with Dave that Plungerman would casually brush off, we would probably see it from Plungerman's POV as usual. But instead, Monster Up didn't show us anything, and we saw Plungerman himself from the third view. So we don't know exactly what he saw and what happened. So guys, is Plungerman in danger of getting possessed by the Plague Doctor? Or it didn't happen yet? Because there is also a possibility that Dave keeps sending this errors to Plungerman's camera just in order to locate him physically. But I'm not so sure about that anymore. And what do you guys think? Okay, and after that, we're getting back to the epic fight between speakermen who are about to finally get more reinforcements, and Dave's army, and there are plenty of speakermen's units coming to it from mid-air, and speakermen also keep using their mecha suits, which came as a reference from Avatar movie initially. But unfortunately, these suits can't guarantee 100% protection, and we can see it in this scene with Zombie Speaker Strider, which basically devoured this poor speakerman together with his gear. And by the way, these zombie striders really look like the strider monster from the horror game called Still Wakes the Deep, which is pretty spooky. Okay, and then we see how Speakerman's huge cannons try to restrain zombie titan Speakerman once again, considering that it kind of worked in the previous episode. But this time, the titan is not actually intended to rinse and repeat. So when it happens, he simply uses the guns on his shoulders and demolishes Speakerman's cannons whatsoever. And right after that, one stupidly brave Speakerman jumps right on the Titan's gun and tries to shoot him in the face from the closer distance. And well, I think I don't really need to explain to you guys how pointless this brave but dangerous action is. Because the only way to actually put a zombie down is to either separate its head from its body completely as it happened to Zombie Titan Drillman, or to destroy it with one of four special cores like Hephaestus Core, for example. But maybe this brave Speakerman just tried to stun Titan Speakerman for some time and let the other soldiers to do their job, I don't know. But as you can see, even though the other Speakerman tried to shoot the Titan's core here, it didn't really do a thing. So all it led to is to a horrible destruction of this one brave Speakerman, who gets literally obliterated with the sound wave coming from Titan Speakerman's mouth. And after that zombie Titan let all of his feelings go out and destroys everything around him with his sound wave as well. And then we see an incredibly cool scene where he punishes the survived speakermen who try to run away from him with his detached bone claws which he can use as portable obstacles for running enemies. And he can summon them back in any time he wants as well. And I find this concept in general to be really cool and unique. And we are also getting shown this unbelievably sick scene where one of poor speakermen gets literally pierced to his destruction by one of this claws in the comic-like manner. And then we're getting shown something really incredible. As the angle changes, we see how Speaker Woman was actually alive all this time. And I'm talking about the real Speaker Woman, of course, and not the Black Mamba Drill Man who cosplayed her appearance last time. She runs away from hordes of zombies chasing her, and I don't really know what stops her from showing Jur incredible melee fighting abilities she was famous for in Boom's original series. But I don't know, maybe in Monster Up's universe she's like more feminine character and plays a role of damsel in distress now, and you know what, I don't have a problem with it. Because as she unfortunately runs to a dead end, Plungerman shows up just at time to protect her and he's doing hella good job with it. And Scabaldi helps him as well with this really sassy look on his face. Oh my. And that's what we all are loving him for. And after the Horde was finally dealt with, Plungerman lowers his weapon and makes an eye contact with Speaker Woman. Or should I say camera contact instead. And she looks really confused by the fact that Plunger Cameraman decided to jump in and help her, because after all the Speakerman's race announced the literal war between them and the Alliance, which decided to get united with Skabidi Army against Dave's virus. 
and Speaker Woman stayed loyal to Speakerman's race, which is why she was in their base and not marked as a traitor the zombie drill man tried to cover up for. So she must be pretty confused about why one of cameramen who is the agent of the Alliance protects her even though they're enemies? And you know what, guys? I hope that everything will be explained to her and that she will join Plungerman's squad somewhere in the next episode. Okay, but now I want to talk more about what happens next here, because this is incredibly epic. So we see how the Speakerman's base keeps being literally demolished by Dave's zombie army, and the Alliance's ship is being used to save the survived Speakerman. Which proves it further to me that the union between the Alliance and the Speakerman's race is inevitable in order to it to survive and not fall into distinction, as it already happened with TV Men's race. We're also getting shown how the entire base is infested with Dave's disgusting creatures, and it seems like the hope is totally lost here. But then Skibaldi suddenly shouts, Skibidi, which can be translated as, Hey, look! And in the next scene, we see how no other but the upgraded Titan cameraman enters the stage, and oh boy, he looks incredible. And let me tell you that first and foremost, this is an obvious reference to Transformers Dark of the Moon movie, where Optimus Prime has his grand comeback and fought the Decepticons in Chicago City, which basically changed the whole course of the battle. And Titan Cameraman does exactly the same thing in this episode, as he literally destroys the most part of Zombie Army in this scene, and the whole thing looks so freaking badass, and he really looks like one of Transformers in this scene with his new armor plates and huge metal wings behind his back. And let me also say that the battle choreography was also insane considering this guy's size. But what caught my attention the most was the yellow color of both his core and camera lens, of course. Because you guys remember how each race of the Alliance had only one distinctive color, and the cameraman's elite warrior's color is blue. But it is also a fact that when color changes, it means some changes for its owner as well. At least that's how it works in Boom's original universe. So I asked Monster Up directly about this color change, and he simply answered me that turning Titan Cameraman's color from blue to yellow was just a cool visual change, and nothing more. So yeah, no crazy conspiracy theories this time, my friends. Okay, and then we see how Zombie Titan Speakerman falls on his knees right in front of the upgraded Titan Cameraman, and then he starts beating the heck out of his opponent with these cool purple brass knuckles that he has. And in the end, he completely stomps Zombie Speakerman into the ground and then uses his gun in order to shoot down the shocked Red Titan Drillman, who was just observing the whole thing from the distance. Then we're getting a very suspicious scene where the Purple Doctor goes away while turning into the Black Fog, and whatever this guy does is never good. So it is possible that he just fled and left his comrades on this hopeless battlefield. Or maybe he has an even nastier plan in mind, so we should be ready for it in the next episode. But right now, I'd like to focus on Titan Cameraman's comeback more, and celebrate this Chad's new upgrades because he looks more promising as ever now. And that was all for today. Be sure to give this video a like, and subscribe to my channel so you will not miss my new cool videos. And also don't forget to leave your comment about what you think will happen in the future episodes of Skibidi Zombie Series, because I'm always interested in what you guys have to say. And that was me, Iso Toilet. See ya!